Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, my name is Eric. It is so wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what is up fam? All right, so if, um, if you are returning, then know that this is not a live session. You have not missed the live. I actually decided against going live today and it does have a lot of a uh, lot to do or at least for this session it does have a lot to do with the energies of the full moon which we are going to be discussing now um i planned on doing this yesterday because i've been wanting to go to do morning coffee once a week um usually on a sunday excuse me but this time um it was a little bit different i did you know schedule the live stream and everything and then about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes before I was supposed to go live, someone uh, across the, uh, one of my neighbors had someone come and finish up their lawn work for them. So that obviously put a wrench <laughs> in the system. It did, however, work out for me because I got my lawn done too, which was great. Um, but the feeling here in this full moon, now technically the full moon was last night, the 26th. Um, today, I'm recording this session on Monday the 27th. A lot of information out there has been saying that the moon was full is full today, but actually it was really fullest last night into this morning, and it was beautiful. I did get to see it. Um, a friend of mine posted, uh, a friend of mine traveled to San Juan today from, well, traveled from the west coast of Puerto Rico to the east coast um, to San Juan. I live in Puerto Rico. Um, and... Uh, she got a, she snapped a really nice picture of it. It was really, really beautiful. Um, and in terms of the astrology of it, we practice true sidereal astrology, AKA constellational astrology here on Divine Conversations. So this full moon actually is in Taurus. And the feeling that I've been getting for the collective in terms of this full moon is, um, uh, it's the aesthetic for me. You know, if it doesn't look good, if it doesn't feel good, if it doesn't taste good, smell good, if it doesn't feel right to you, then you just don't want any part of it. And that is really, that's something that really sunk in for me yesterday, um, last night particularly. Um, I, after I got out of work, I decided to go um, get myself mm -hmm. some cauliflower pizza. I have been, this is a total tangent, but I have been on this kick to try all of the different cauliflower pizzas around because that's really the only pizza I can eat because I'm gluten intolerant and I don't eat corn either. Um, I'm also corn intolerant. intolerant. Um, so I decided, it's the aesthetic for me, right? So after work, I decided I'm gonna go over to one of the local sport, sports bars that offers this and I'm gonna go get some pizza and I'm gonna have a drink. And I sat at the sports bar and I was, it, was a, it was a cute spot. Um, I ordered my pizza and I was sitting there just vibing. And I realized, I came to the realization that I did not move to this area to be with somebody, to be with anybody other than myself. And it's taken me about three years to figure that out. But it took, it, in those three years that I've been here in Puerto Rico, I've gone through a lot of personal challenges that have helped to break me out of a lot of the egoic mindset and um, conditioning and uh, the traumas that I've been through in life, it's really helped me to process a lot of that. And I've gotten to the point where it's like, it's really not about anyone else, it's about me. Um, and that's the other feeling that I'm getting for the collective in this energy. Um, a song that would be associated with that is It's All About You, which is by Maya. Um, it's a song from the 90s, one of the great, it's a great, great song, but it talks about me. It's all about, I'm sorry, the song is called It's All About Me. Tonight it's about me, 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 me. Forget about you. <coughs> Excuse me, sneezing on the truth. It's really about you. What is aesthetically pleasing to you? So what I'm getting for the collective here is um, you, I'm hearing you're challenging yourselves to really start focusing on what's best for you, what's in your highest alignment, okay? But this is in terms of your physical reality because the moon is in Taurus, okay? Taurus is ruled by Ver Venus. Venus right now is in Virgo and is about to conjunct with the south node uh, fairly soon, okay? They're, they're kind of starting their conjunction now. Venus is approaching the south node in Virgo. 
444 on the counter. If you've been seeing 444 a lot lately, then this is a message most likely for you. Um, but both Taurus and Virgo are earth signs, okay? So it's very much about being down to earth, being grounded. And with Venus being in Virgo all this time, there has been a feeling of cleaning things up um, in terms of your home life, in terms of your physical reality, maybe in terms of your career. Um, there could be an adjustment to your career trajectory, especially right now that this full moon is in Taurus. Okay, how it is you make money, how it is you want to be making money. But all of this really applies to you, how you feel inside, what is best for you, what are you really wanting to do, right? So in terms of that then this is another reason as to why i decided not to go live today because i just wanted to i wanted to get this message out but trying to schedule a live right now a live session is just kind of going to put a wrench in my system because there are other things that i want to be doing in my physical reality cleaning stuff up um, getting things done putting things away you know building up my physical reality and all that kind of stuff and um, being in Puerto Rico right now, we are on Atlantic time. So 555 on the counter, that's another number you may be seeing recently. That is definitely, this message is for you then. Um, because it's all about change, right? And there are things that I wanted to do today and trying to schedule a live stream and then being able to do all the other things that I wanted to do, it was, it's just gonna be a hassle. So I decided to prioritize myself and the things that I wanna do, the things that I wanna get done and so instead of trying to schedule a live, I decided to just record a reading, okay? This is, these are the energies that I'm feeling for the collective right now, all right? Um, the, sun, the sun is in Scorpio right now. The moon is in Taurus. Venus is in Virgo, about to go conjunct with the south node. Uranus is in Aries along with Jupiter. Um, yeah. These are all really good things, you guys. It really is a good thing. Prioritizing yourself really is necessary at this moment, okay? Whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is you want to see, how, what you want to hear, I'm, I'm hearing, um, what you want to say, how you want to fix things. There could be a, I mean, this could literally be as minor, I guess you could say, as just like fixing up your home. What I'm hearing is what is aesthetically pleasing to you, okay? Um, and getting into alignment with that, yes? All right, guys, so we're going to get into some cards here and some messages, some further messages. Let's see what we've got for the collective at this time. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. We thank you so very much for everything that you do for us, everything that you provide for us all the time. The love, the care, the free will, the support, the challenges that help us to become who it is we are at this, in these moments and, who, and that help us to grow and expand. We ask that you please at this time, show us what it is we need to see, tell us what it is we need to hear and enlighten us to what it is we need to know so that we may make the best choices for ourselves to serve our highest good, but not only the highest good of our own selves, but the highest good of all involved. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, I'm gonna give this five shuffles. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, <laughs> okay. One. Aesthetically pleasing. What is aesthetically pleasing to you? How, it is, how is it that you wanna see your life moving forward? How is it that you wanna grow from here on out? I really do feel like we have done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of growing. Um, and in terms of, let's say, let's call, let's say you're a plant. You have been focusing on your root system at this time, okay? Um, and, well, throughout this time. And your root system has sufficiently grown to now support a greater version of who you are, okay? And at right now, again, aesthetically pleasing. I'm seeing the two of wands in my head. Right now, the focus for the collective is now that you have this stronger and more abundant root system that can support a larger and greater version of yourself, now is the time for you to choose, for you to decide what it is you wanna see in your life moving forward, how it is you wanna grow, where it is you wanna go, what it is you wanna be moving towards, where it is you want to move to. Some of you may be deciding to change um, residences. I'm hearing vacancies. For some of you, this is business. 
you may be looking to relocate a business you may be looking to start a business and you're looking and that's why i'm hearing vacancies you're looking for vacancies you're looking for somewhere to set up shop okay this also could be just in your general life this doesn't have to be business um some of you may want to actually get out of the town that you're in or the city that you're in or just the physical place that you're in and right now you have the physical root system well the um well the root system not maybe not this is I, I, the, the word is escaping me but you have Figuratively speaking, there we go. You have a much stronger root system. There is more belief in yourself. Um, a lot of the challenges that you've gone through over all this time that have led you to this place have really helped you to overcome some of your fears um, and really has helped you to start to really believe in yourself. Put more time, attention, and effort into your own self, into your body, okay? You may be looking to change a workout regimen or change your diet. Okay, this also could be some of you are also working on readjusting who it is you are in alignment with or who it is you spend time with. Physically speaking, in your waking life, um, your friends, maybe even family members. Okay, um, now there was something that I channeled for the collective a few days ago, um, and that was on Patreon 1111 on the counter. That is that is over on Patreon. Um, I do a lot more work on Patreon than I do on YouTube lately. If you want to get more regular content with me, check out Patreon. The link is in the description box below, patreon.com slash divine conversations. But there was a message that I channeled that said something about something in your waking life is going to be solidified by this full moon. And I didn't realize at the time that I, I channeled that message, I didn't realize that the full moon was in Taurus. Okay, true sidereal constellation astrology, not tropical astrology. Um, and now, now that I realize, now that we're here and I, it makes more sense, it definitely makes sense that the full moon is in Taurus and something is being solidified for you. Whether, if it's, whether it's just a thought pattern or a belief system, it's coming to fruition. It's being, you are grounding it into your physical reality. And for many of us, the feeling that I'm getting here is that you are really focused on grounding it. Like there's a, there's a strong level of determination to really get this new mindset, this new belief system off the ground. But in order to do that, you have to find a solid, stable place to push off of. So now you're in a position of really consciously saying to yourself, no, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna ground this into my reality because I want to see the results from here. Beautiful. Let's see what we've got. What's going on for the collective? during this full moon energies these full moon energies okay Ooh. whoa okay all right overall energy is the nine of swords um but actually what i'm getting for this right now you guys is that this nine of swords energy is a motivating factor for many of us we are getting out of an energy of being fearful of being anxious it, it's it's more what this really feels like here is you may have been in this energy for some time maybe an extended period of time nine of swords anxiety fear worry but what the, this feels like a motivating factor because you're no longer wanting to be in this place any longer okay and notice how um you know in this card this person there are nine swords stacked above this person Two of them are actually looking like they could make contact with this person, but well, maybe three. But the other six are above this person. They, they don't they don't pose any real threat. And what I'm getting with this is that there is a realization that maybe your fears are all up in your head, um, or that you don't have to be fearful in this way. You don't have to think about things in this way. You don't have to look at reality in this way. And that's why this feels like it is a motivating factor for you to get up out of this space and move towards something else. Now, whew, yeah, we've got some pretty intense energies here. The first card that came out is in fact the tower. Okay, so there are some big, big changes that you are making to your life at this time. And they very well could be of the physical nature. Okay, I'm kind of giving an energy here of like blowing something out of the water or completely deconstructing something, tearing it down in order to um, make or create or build something new. Now, this is also a clearing energy in terms of your heart chakra, because the next card you have here is the Knight of Cups. 
okay? Um, and actually the way this is, here, look at this, it, it came out this way. The Knight of Cups is moving forward, is moving away from this tower energy. This is definitely giving me heart chakra energies with this heart, with the Knight of Cups. How it is you wanna move forward emotionally, okay? Um, a change in your heart's alignment, a change in what it is you wanna see for yourself or what it is you wanna see for your life. Moving forward in a different way, moving forward towards new, better and or greater connections. OK, again, the message that I channeled, the initial message is it's the aesthetics for me. Right. So if it doesn't feel good, look good, taste good, smell good and looking and this is all subjective. OK, this is all subjective. Right. But if it doesn't if it doesn't hit you in any sort of those ways, then you don't want a part of it. OK, so you are consciously breaking down structures in your life that keep you from being happy, that keep you from feeling fulfilled, that keep your heart from being full. And then finally, the last card you have here is the sun. That's beautiful. Realizations, though, for some of us here, these may be tough realizations, but there is a strong level of determination coming through this Taurus energy. Taurus is earth sign. It's also a fixed sign. Okay. Taurus pushes through. Taurus is a tank. Taurus can get through anything. Okay. Physically speaking. So I really feel like even if there are some pretty tough realizations to be had, to be made, to be seen, it doesn't matter because you're still pushing through it is what I'm feeling. Okay. Okay. Let's get more on this. Show me the tower, please, for the collective. Wow. First two cards out are the Four of Wands and the Six of Swords. You are definitely moving forward. OK, now the Four of Wands absolutely could be a, a level of celebration, something to celebrate. Um, and I definitely do think there are some things to celebrate here, but this is really on a spiritual, spiritually foundational level. I'm also getting home energies with the Four of Wands. Um, so again, wanting to move homes, wanting to move locations, shift locations, whether this is a business or this is an actual physical residence, okay? The tower energy could be that moment of realization that it's like, I need to get the fuck up out of here or it's just time for me to move. And for some of you, you are dealing with family members in terms of that. Maybe these family members, these could also be friends, but maybe these family, friends or family members don't want you to move out of the state that you're in, whether that be physically, mentally, emotionally, um, or you're facing leaving certain family members behind or certain family dynamics or friend, friends groups, friend dynamics behind in order, uh, in order for you to reach, achieve greater peace is literally what I just heard here. And then, I, and then I was like, yeah, the Six of Swords, that makes sense because the Six of Swords is all about moving from rough waters to calmer waters. Okay, let's get one more card on the tower here. Damn, yep, to the King of Wands. You are determined to do this. All right, this is your decision. This is your decision to make. Overall energy is the Seven of Cups. There may have been a lot of confusion around you. Um, and I also feel like this confusion is another motivating factor. Um, I'm hearing strife. I'm hearing anguish. You're moving away from all of these things. Seven of Cups could also represent some of the individuals in your life that are trying to give you reasons as to why you shouldn't go, why you shouldn't move in this direction, why you shouldn't make this change for yourself. Also, some of the Seven of Cups energy does kind of feel like a little bit of confusion within you, maybe uncertainty. But that is another reason as to why I feel like you're putting the kibosh to whatever this is, whatever this tower moment is for you whatever it is you're deconstructing in your life in order to re to construct something new. The seven of cups is also another motivating factor because it's like, no, you want clarity. You want peace. You don't want confusion. Okay. You don't want people around you gaslighting you. You don't want people around you throwing their two cents in fucking up your energy. You know what I mean? There is a strong level of determination here to move forward, to have a greater sense of peace is what I'm hearing. Okay, show me the Knight of Cups for the collective, please. Four of Pentacles now is the overall energy. Oh, look at this. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Knight of Swords, and then we've got the Eight of Cups. Peace and tranquility is really what I'm hearing here. Um, there is a great... So... Uh, 
what seems to have happened is you have really developed a greater sense of self-worth. I am seeing the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here as a balance between masculine and feminine energies within you. I do feel like the Queen of Pentacles really is the driving force behind making these changes because you know what it is you're worth, you know what it is you're bringing to the table, what you can bring to the table. I'm also getting you know what it is that you want, okay? And because of that now, there is a level of determination to put the kibosh on anything that stands in your way or that does not align with that, okay? Now you also have with this the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. I feel like the Knight of Swords is, are actually the people around you that may be fighting back against these changes that you're making or that you're desiring to make, okay? Because overall energy here is the Four, <clears throat> the four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me, it is the Four of Pentacles, okay? Now, you could have been holding on in this way, but what I'm really getting here is that other people and circumstances may be holding on to you in this way, but then underneath that is the Queen of Swords. And it's interesting because what I'm getting with the Queen of Swords here, this is you, okay? Or whomever, this could be you, this could be someone that you're connected to, just take it as it resonates. But it is this person that's in this energy of the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, what I'm getting with this is, and it's interesting, unique, because I don't often see the Queen of Swords this way as being willing to hear somebody out in terms of something, okay? But it's different. It's not that there is a level of deliberation happening that may be represented by, like, say, the King of Swords, where there's an actual debate. It's not a debate. It's more an energy of Queen of Swords is approaching the situation saying, what do we have here in front of us? And is this right for me or wrong? It's still a yes or no question. Okay. And that's what the Queen of Swords is representing. It's either a yes or it's a no. Now, this could be you. Four of Pentacles, you could be going through a process of um, purging, purging your physical reality, your home, getting rid of certain things, getting rid of clutter, things that you no longer, uh, you no longer serve you. For some of you, this could even be things, items that you have from like an ex uh, or, or maybe family members that you're looking to disconnect from. I am getting with this Four of Pentacles that for some of you, this is these are individuals around you that are holding on to certain things. But what I'm in terms of that, what I'm getting is they are holding on to their own belief systems. They're holding on to their own reality. And you are approaching that as having been a part of it. You are approaching that and saying it's either a yes or a no for me. And it's all about the aesthetic. OK, underneath the Queen of Wands is the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry. Underneath the Queen of Swords is the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, underneath that is the Eight of Wands. I'm sorry, Eight of Swords. Underneath the Queen of Swords is the Ace of Wands to the Eight of Swords. There is definitely inspiration here, a desire to move away from conflict, to move away from strife, to move away from mental imprisonment. To get yourself free from all of these things. And there could be individuals fighting back against you walking away. Whether there is some sort of actual altercation whether they you know there's an argument or they're saying things like oh you can't do this to us blah blah you can't do this to me blah 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 there could be energies of trying to sabotage you but quite frankly i always i also get this feeling this knight of swords could be you also really working diligently determined to cut yourself free and to walk away from what no longer serves you in order, for, in order for you to be in service or move forward towards what truly is within your heart, what your true heart's desire is, okay? Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, uh, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, okay? Let's look at the sun. Now, the sun is in Scorpio at this time, all right? And I am getting that um, this is all about revelations I'm hearing figuring something out, coming to a deeper understanding of something, and it may be kind of tough. But really what I'm hearing is it may be tougher for other individuals around you to deal with. If it's not so tough for you to deal with at this moment, that's because you've been dealing with this. You've been processing it all over all this time. So it may come as a shock to others, okay? 
Yeah. With the sun being in Scorpio at this time, physically speaking, the sun is in Scorpio. The Sc and Scorpio is all about revealing things, digging things up from the depths, bringing it to the surface, and uh, in order for it to be transformed. Tran uh, uh, Scorpio is all about transformation. Scorpio is rule, uh, rules death, okay? Scorpio is represented by death in the tarot. And in order for something to change, it needs to come to your awareness. In order for you to make the effort for it to change, it needs to come to your awareness. And that's what the sun represents here. Show me the sun for the collective. Beautiful opportunities are ahead of you is what I just heard. More clarity. You have the magician at the bottom of the deck. You also have now here, you have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is the first card out to Strength and to the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, but the Knight of Pentacles is facing this way. <laughs> there we go. Moving forward, forward movement. All right. Um, I'm hearing a relationship is on the horizon. Someone is getting the strength to come forward. This may have been a long time coming. A long, arduous process is what I'm hearing. I just heard revealing what it is you need to know and what it is you need to see in order for you to continue moving forward. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is my don't hold your breath card, of course. Ooh. I was just instructed to split the deck and we've got the King of Cups here. Scorpio energy. Okay. Um... This could have to do with love, not gonna lie. Could have to do with love. Um, now, as I say all the time, the Two of Cups could represent, you know, the balance of masculine and feminine, the harmony within you, okay? And I do see that here. The King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, we don't have direct counterparts yet, but this right here is an energy of I definitely see two people coming together at this time. So this revelation that could be happening here, especially with Taurus being the where the moon is, um, this could very well be all about who it is you want to, who it is you would want to settle down with. The revelation here could be what it is I want in a relationship. And your ego or somebody's ego may have really been getting in the way in the way in the past. But now that's no longer the case, okay? Someone is really working on taming that ego. Could be a Leo. Okay, we could be dealing with a Leo here. Leo energy, we do have the sun and strength. <coughs> uh, also could be dealing with Aries or Scorpio with the tower here, all right? And then the magician. Mm, I don't remember what the magician represents, but. Wow. Wow. Okay. And then Gemini, because the lovers just showed up. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician, the nine of cups, the four of cups to the ace of pentacles, and then the lovers, Ooh, the lovers, and then the devil. Stop it. Oh my God. That's crazy. But um, this also could be a level of coming out of that comfort zone energy. We were talking about that. We've been talking about that, especially over on Patreon for about a month and a half now. It, or maybe no, a month and a half. Uh, the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is that comfort zone energy. Okay? No longer wanting to be in that anymore. Wanting to come up out of that comfort zone energy with the Four of Cups and making an offer to someone. Ace of Pentacles. Okay? Damn. The lovers, then the devil. That's crazy. That's wild. Um, so, there, so if this is a relationship type of situation or a love type of situation for you, First of all, the tower to the, to the Knight of Cups to the sun. There could be a moment where someone declares their love for someone else. I'm picking up on somebody, and this is really, maybe not necessarily to you if you are this love interest, or if you are this person to your love interest. I'm getting more of communication towards friends and family. People who may have been around you, surrounding this circumstance or situation that have, may have been helping you or this person not get into alignment with it. I feel like someone is really up, is saying, no, this is what I want, or this person is who I want. 
this type of relationship is what I want. Sorry about that. It got a little loud for a second. Um, again, I just heard what is aesthetically pleasing. And that's all you. That is all subjective, okay? Um, but this, is, this could be someone recognizing or realizing, maybe even declaring to themselves, but I'm also getting declaring to the other people around them, this is who I want, this is what I want, this is the type of stability that I want, this is the type of family that I want, this is the type of relationship I want to be in. And it could very well be with a specific person, okay? You're realizing this at the, that at this time, all right? And so you have the Magician, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, but then you have the, the Lovers to the Devil, and then the Two of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Because someone is realizing here where, where the destruction has been, where the lies, the cheating, the backstabbing has been. Okay, someone is literally freeing themselves from the chains, from the confines of the Devil, and are putting them in a position to be in a greater alignment with what it is that they want. Someone is choosing, you are choosing their high, what is best for you, not for these other people around you is what I'm hearing, okay? And with this King of Cups here, someone is getting the, damn, someone is getting the balls, okay? The emotional maturity to do what it is that they want, to go after what it is that they want, damn. Now we have counterparts here, look, King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Justice, okay? The Knight, I'm sorry, not the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Making an offer, um, starting a new reality, starting a new branch of existence is what I heard. Maybe starting a new branch of your business. And then underneath Justice, there's the counterpart to the King. We've got the Queen of Wands, okay? And what I'm getting here is this is bringing justice to someone, excuse me, to someone that has been in their manifestational energies, so someone has been in the magnetic mode who has been really working on attracting something towards them, okay? This could be two per people. So you could be in this energy of the queen of wands, really focused on your alignment, really focused on pulling in what it is that you want towards yourself, magnetizing what it is that you want towards yourself. Well, here he comes, king of wands, four of wands, and the six of swords all clarifying the tower okay this is what i want this is what i who i want to be with this is who i what, what, who i want to live with these are things that i'm hearing here all right i want to get some further clarification before i wrap this up um four of wands energy okay we'll start there Some further clarification please spirit is saying the four of wands all right one last shuffle so show me this four of wands for the collective please damn y'all can't make this stuff up look at this the four of wands is at the bottom of the deck okay this is a major deciding factor who it is you want to live with where it is you want to live um, who it is, maybe if this is business for you, who it is you want to be in business with, where it is you want to start your business. Show me the Four of Wands, please. Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Someone has really been working on themselves. You have really been working on yourself. And if this is a counterpart situation, both of you have been doing this work unbeknownst to each other. You've been doing this work on your own. Okay, show me the Four of Wands, please. What's this Four of Wands for the collective? Queen of Swords. And the Eight of Cups. You can't make this stuff up. Look, it's the Queen of Swords to the Eight of Cups. Someone is putting the kibosh on something. Someone is making an executive decision. And again, this is not a debate. This is not a debate. This is an individual or an energy of looking at the facts that you have in front of you and literally saying either yes or no. And, in some, and the answer is no in some cases because you're, you're moving. The Eight of Cups is all about walking away walking away also walking away from eight neatly stacked cups to go find the last two okay anything else for the four of wands here that's enough yep looky here looky here you've got the world to the ace of pentacles again 
all right? Closing, off, closing out a previous cycle in order to start something new. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is all about 444 on the counter. This is all about your self-worth. Knowing what it is to, that you bring to the table, knowing what it is that you have to provide, wanting to be a provider, but honoring your self-worth, honoring what it is you know you are worthy of. If this is in terms of love for you, or this person, whomever we're talking, speaking to here, this is in terms of love. This is you saying to yourself, no, I know I deserve better. No, I know I deserve to have that partner. No, I know I, know I deserve to have that love, that romantic situation, that stability, that permanence. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Five of Wands. There has been some sort of soulmate situation. And then the Ace of Cups. Yeah, to the moon. There's been some sort of soulmate situation that somebody has been on the cusp of or has been debating. There's been a debate about this. An internal struggle. But also that internal struggle feels like it's been influenced by external circumstances. But here at this point, you know what it is you know you're worth, what you're worthy of, and you're willing to go forward towards it. You're willing to end these cycles, the world, in order to start something new. Ace of Pentacles. This could be about marriage. Wanting to get married, wanting to settle down, wanting to have a family. And you're finally believing that you're worthy of it now. And you're going forward towards it. So, okay, let's see. Ta let's talk about this Queen of Pentacles then. Because the Queen of Pentacles did, has come out here twice. All right? Show me the Queen of Pentacles for the collective, for this full moon energy, please. Ooh, the Queen of Cups now. Ooh, okay. Show me the Queen of Pentacles here. Now, the reason you're able to be in this Queen of Pentacles energy is because you understand your emotions. You have been going through the emotional cleansing, clearing, and healing. You've been understanding and looking into your emotions, looking into how it is you truly feel underneath the surface wanting to clear that up also working on gaining emotional boundaries you have the queen of cups the three of wands and the fool as clarifying this queen of pentacles energy so you or this person has done some i want to say some, done some deep soul searching um that's really clear that's really uh more of a hermit energy but i still feel like it's soul searching you could even call it a dark night of the soul type of energy but <clears throat> really aligning with the truth of your emotions what it is you truly feel how it is you truly feel okay okay gaining clarity in terms of that and then from there deciding what it is you want to be investing in three of wands what type of return of an investment do you need or do you want and what do you need to do in order to get that you're starting a new cycle here the fool okay we just went from the world right and after the world we circle back around to the fool okay this is a really big turning point in your life a really big turning point in your life I feel like this is really a time where you're going to be starting a completely new chapter, okay? Overall energy. It's so busy out there. Overall energy is the two of pentacles to the three of cups and then the ace of swords and strength. Ooh, and the emperor. Yes. Okay. But look at here, the two of pentacles, right? Um, this is kind of like about indecisiveness. What I am seeing with the Two of Pentacles here is being in between realities, choosing one reality over another, choosing your next step, your next reality over another. And there are some individuals involved with this. Three of Cups, okay, hive mind mentality. I'm getting friends, also getting family members um, that you no longer resonate with, that you no longer want to vibe with, okay? To and then that's the truth right there. Ace of Swords, getting clarity on it and having the strength to follow through with it. All right. That's beautiful, you guys. That's really, really beautiful. Finally, let's clear. OK, since strength did come out here, I'm going to I want to clarify strength, but I, I'm also feeling kind of nosy. 
And I kind of want to clarify the Two of Cups too. But first, let's talk about strength. All right, now strength came out to clarify the sun, which was one of the first cards that came out in the spread. Um, and strength is coupled with the Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Again, this, been, this has been, the Knight of Pentacles does not feel like it's, um, the Knight of Pentacles feels like a past energy. Okay, this was a long and arduous process. This took a lot of time to think about, a lot of time to develop. Let's look at strength. Show me strength for the collective, please. For this full moon energy, show me strength. Damn. Wow, 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 wow. The three of swords and the seven of swords, you guys. Holy shit. There's been a lot of betrayal, a lot of backstabbing. And look, okay, so look, we have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck too. I really feel like now, especially since strength came out with the sun and the sun is really about revealing things, especially since right now, physically speaking, in terms of constellational true sidereal astrology, if you were to look up at the sky right now, <coughs> excuse me, with any sort of um, stargazing app, you would see that the sun is actually in Scorpio. This is all about transformation. This is all about revealing what is deep underneath the surface. Somebody here is realizing that they've been betrayed, that they've been backstabbed, maybe even that they've been led in the wrong direction. But this is having the strength now, okay, to overcome this, to change the situation. You do have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck and then the six of cups to the queen of pentacles and then the 10 of swords. Woo, and the 10 of wands and then to the two of cups and the king of wands. Woo, and then death. Scorpio energy. Okay, so what is all of this saying? Well, first of all, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, you're putting an end to a lot of struggle. You're putting a an end to a lot of strife. You're putting an end to a lot of pain. Painful situations, painful circumstances. Okay, Five of Wands, Six of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting strong soulmate energies here with this Six of Cups. And for someone, maybe this is a cross watcher or maybe this is the person that you're dealing with or you have this connection with, but somebody here has been the queen of pentacles this whole damn time. And there has been some sort of confusion, um, internal battle, but also external differing of opinion, blah, 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 that has been keeping you from or keeping this person from this queen of pentacles. And this queen of pentacles has been developing themselves this whole time over this whole process. Okay, this could be you or could this could be someone that you're connected to. All right. For the most part, I feel like the viewer here is working on getting it, being in this Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like whomever the King of Wands here or whomever is wanting to pursue this Queen of Pentacles probably isn't watching this right now. Maybe you are. I don't know. And if they are, maybe you sent it to them. I don't know. But that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting from this. Okay. Then we have the Two of Cups to the King of Wands and death. I want to clarify this Two of Cups now since that was the next one that I wanted to see. Let's clarify the Two of Cups then. Strength, but also let's, let me finish this statement. Strength is clarified by the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This is having the strength to not only realize this, but overcome it. Change the circumstances, change the way you're dealing with things, change maybe who it is you're dealing with. Show me the Two of Cups here. The devil. Show me the two of cups. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Wow, okay. Here's the hermit energy. There's that soul searching, okay. You've got the devil to the seven of wands, to the hermit, to the two of swords. And then overall energy is the Ace of Swords. To the Three of Cups, okay. What I'm hearing with the Ace of Swords to the Three of Cups as your overall energy is knowing where your true allegiances lie. Four, four, four on the counter again. Knowing where your true allegiance lies. If this resonates for you as a love situation, then that true allegiance is with the Queen of Pentacles. You are, or this person is putting boundaries up between the devil 444 again between the devil or between toxic situations toxic circumstances this definitely could be friends or family 
individuals that were influencing you over or this person over all this time okay putting the kibosh on that not even trying to focus on anything other than what their truth is okay their inner light is showing them or wants them to see or, or what their inner light is okay so if this is not a romantic situation for you then this two of cups definitely represents the bond within yourself okay I want to see, now I want to look at the Knight of Pentacles here. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. That's enough right there. Wow. Wow. It took someone a very long time to understand where their true allegiances lie, where the true reciprocity is. You can, the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Pentacles and the King of Swords reversed. And what I'm getting with the King of Swords reversed is, first of all, the answer is no to any previous situation. Second of all, I'm getting a father figure with this King of Swords reversed. This may be someone that may have been steering you wrong in terms of the advice they may have been giving you. And I don't necessarily want to say that they are personally wrong or that they were intentionally trying to do this, but if this part resonates for you, then it's all about what's right for you, not what, other, what this other person sees for you or wants for you or maybe even these other people. Okay, now the King of Swords in reverse also represents that energy of, it's not a debate. That's why we had the Queen of Swords before. And I was kind of getting a bit of a King of Swords energy in terms of, okay, let me see what the facts are. But it's not a debate. So give me the facts and it's either a yes or a no question. And in terms of, a, see, what someone has realized here in this Knight of Pentacles energy, as they've been in this long and arduous process, as they've been going through all of this, what they have realized or what you have realized is the reciprocity just is not there, Six of Pentacles. And if the reciprocity is not there, I don't want it. If it doesn't look good, if it doesn't smell good, if it doesn't feel good, if it's not right for me, I don't want it. It's the aesthetic for me. Three, and then at the bottom of the deck, overall energy is the Ten of Swords back to the Queen of Pentacles. Because you know your worth. You know what it is you bring to the table. And you're tired, you're done with, you're tired of, but you are done with being in situations that are not, that do not honor that. That are not reciprocal to you. It's all about the aesthetic. This queen of pentacles keeps coming out. And it makes sense because the queen of pentacles is an earth sign or is, is part of the earth element. She's not gonna give her time, attention, and energy to anything that does not serve her. That is not reciprocal. Okay? All right. Final closing messages. I'm going to do two. If this resonated for you on a love tip, we're going to get closing messages from the Romance Angels. And then overall, I'm going to close this out with the Crystal Mandala. So, if this resonated as a love reading for you, let's get you some Oracle guidance in terms of love then in terms of this connection that you that you or someone seems to be choosing at this time and really honestly if this uh, this still could be love for you in terms of choosing yourself for me it's like look i'm not gonna i'm not gonna try and schedule a live i mean this reading is already in almost an hour anyway but i have things i want to do today before i even get to work later and i'm prioritizing myself that doesn't mean i can't still record a re reading for you guys but I, I got shit to do and it's going to be more difficult for me to schedule a live stream because I'm an hour ahead, at least. I'm an, I'm an hour ahead of the East Coast, right? So I started doing this at 10 a.m. my time, but that's 9 a.m. your time. And it's like, that's going to be too early. Let's give the, You get it. I'm prioritizing myself here. But I, in order to still be available to the collective, I decided, let me just record a reading and put it out there, right? Queen of Pentacles prioritizing the self. It's the aesthetic for me. Okay, closing messages in terms of love, if this is a love situation. Woo-wee! 
Uh-huh. Love yourself first. Now, this almost, this came out in reverse and almost fell out on the floor, but I caught it before it fell on the floor. So we're loving ourselves first here, first and foremost. And that is especially in terms of someone that wants to come forward towards another person. You are learning, you're loving yourself enough to say, no, that this is what I want. This is who I want. And I'm going to honor that by going after it. I'm going to honor myself. I'm going to honor my heart, Knight of Cups, by going after what it is I truly want. You have calling in your soulmate. Make the effort very soon. And also, quite poignant, healing family issues. Yeah. I almost sneezed. Sneezing on the truth, y'all. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have this could be the one. Confirmation right there. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to read any deeper into that. I'm just, just going to call that confirmation and we're going to move forward. So take it as it resonates. Let's close this out. Unicorns. I was going to go with the Crystal Mandala, but Spirit is saying the unicorns first. All right. Let's do it. Please excuse me. Woo -wee. All right. Closing message from the unicorns here. For this full moon energy. Okay, we've got two. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 you guys. This really could be a love situation. Looky here, at the bottom of the deck, you've got courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Someone is really setting very strong boundaries. And I honestly, you guys, I really, the, the strongest thing that I'm feeling here is this is between family members, you and your family. In some cases, in certain situations in which family dynamics have held you back from the love it is you truly desire or from the love that it is you truly want. And I'm going to call it love because looky here, you have beloved or beloved, whatever, however you want to say it. <laughs> Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Look, first phrase is prepare for your life partner, guys. All right, it's coming. And then you have innocence. Take time to play. Nurture your inner child. Live with a childlike sense of wonder. This absolutely could be a result. Yeah, uh, the Ace of Pentacles just wanted to show itself. This could absolutely be a result of a lot of inner child work you've been doing. Honoring your inner child, going where your inner child is like, I want to go here because this makes me happy. This, uh, this, I want to do these things. <coughs> All right, let's close this out. Final message for the collective here, please. In this full moon energy. Full moon in Taurus, last shuffle. All right, last shuffle here, or last pull, last card. Closing message, please, Spirit. Woo! Okay. All right. It did fall out on the floor, but I'm not going to um, worry about that. <clears throat> All right, you have card number 45, Goddess Gaia and Ocean Jasper. Good will. Um, I really... The feeling that I get, yes, I know this fell out on the floor, but it came out with vigor. It came jumping out of the deck. So it just, to me, I'm just gonna take that in this moment. I'm just gonna take this as a strong, strong energy, okay? Now 45 does boil down to a nine, which is an ending, okay? A, a, an ending to the situation leading to a completion. Here we go. We bring you the empowerment of goodwill. There is a type of spiritual power you can co-create which benefits and protects you whilst mutually empowering others to take their journey and experience divine success. This spiritual power, known as goodwill, is generated by how you feel inside and the attitude you cultivate towards others. When you know you have value, queen of pentacles. When you know you have value, it is easy to recognize the value in another. When you feel encouraged by the universe, it is easy to encourage others. As you put out support, encouragement, and goodwill for the success of all beings, this energy is amplified and returned to you. Oh. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you for so much for tuning in. 444 on the counter again. I hope you guys enjoyed this full moon. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Check us out on Patreon where you will get more regular readings from me. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>